minutes now is WGN Morning News medical contributor and Northwestern Medicine physician, Dr. Lauren Stryker. Thanks for Good being morning. with us. Good morning. Hey, how about this? One out of four admit to using cannabis to help menopause symptoms. Yeah, you know, this was not a surprise to me. We hear this all the time from patients who come to our menopause clinic, but this was a study that came out that looked at a large group of women to see how often are they using it. And it turns out about 27% of menopausal women are using cannabinoid to help with hot flashes and mood swings and brain fog and insomnia and all of that. And they're doing every they're, they're drinking it, they're eating it, they're putting it in oil, they're putting it on their toast, they're putting it on their body parts. But here's the problem. There are no studies. There are no studies. Is this a placebo effect? Is this real? Is it safe? So most, for the most part, cannabinoids are pretty safe, but there's two things that menopausal women need to know if they're going to try this. Number one, there's always a chance that it might interfere with other medications, so be aware of that. We don't know. But the other thing, the edibles are really kind of sometimes a problem in menopausal women because they don't metabolize them the same way as younger women. So what happens is they eat the piece of candy or the cookie, an hour later they say, hmm, not working. They eat another one, and they end up, being not only really stoned, but sometimes disoriented, having, oh. you know, feeling kind of frightened. So when it comes to edibles, for any case, post-menopause, the mantra is go slow, start low, start low. So don't get me wrong. This could be a good thing. I just wish we had more data. We need to know more about this. Thanks again. For more, you can go to drstriker.com or follow her on social media. Have a good day. Thank you.